Welcome to a walkthrough video on how to transfer GRT from Ethereum mainnet to Arbitrum 1 using a partially vested contract. This video is for indexers or delegators who are using a vesting contract to interact with the graph and want to use the L2 transfer tools to transfer stake and or delegation. There's a few things we should know before beginning this process. One, in order to initialize the vesting contract on Arbitrum 1, we must have GRT on the vesting contract on Ethereum mainnet to transfer to Arbitrum 1. Even if it is 0 0.00001 GRT, we must have greater than 0 GRT to transfer. 2. We must have ETH on Ethereum mainnet's beneficiary wallet to deposit into the transfer tool contract to pay for gas for the transfer. Now that we know what we need to know to initialize the vesting contract in Arbitrum 1, let's go through a few key points about this process. Key point number one, Arbitrum 1 vesting contracts won't allow releasing GRT until the end of the vesting timeline. If we want to release the GRT before, we'll have to bridge it back to Ethereum mainnet. Key point number two, if the bridging fails during the transfer, we need to confirm on Arbitrum 1 before seven days or our funds will be lost. An alert will show up on our vesting contract profile page informing us that we need to confirm this transfer on Arbitrum 1. Key point number three, we can continue transferring our GRT from our Ethereum mainnet vesting contract to Arbitrum 1 as long as we have GRT on Ethereum mainnet and after initializing the vesting contract on Arbitrum 1. An alert will appear in our profile informing us that we have GRT to transfer to Arbitrum 1. After the vesting contract is initialized on Arbitrum 1, we can transfer our stake slash delegation on our vesting contract to Arbitrum 1. So now that we've gone through these steps, let's go ahead and go through a walkthrough of how to transfer our GRT using a partially vested contract. Okay, we're going to get going at thegraph.com. And for the sake of this walkthrough, we're going to be at testnet.thegraph.com using testnet funds. The process is the exact same using GRT or testnet funds. You can see we're on Ethereum Girly. Next, what we're going to do is go to our overview, which is an overview of everything that we've got going on in the graph. And we'll see we have two notifications. Let's go ahead and check out those notifications. Here are our vesting contracts. We have two of them. Let's go ahead and swap to a vesting contract. You'll see. And now, as you can see in the top right, we have logged in to our vesting contract and we get some more notifications. Let's initialize the vesting contract right there. Welcome to the dashboard. Let's go ahead and look through the steps on the left. Go ahead and make sure that when we get the chance, we'll read through those. Um, but let's go ahead and move relatively quickly in this walkthrough. Just know that you'll need 20 minutes overall for this full process to go through. So set time aside and really make sure that you are with your computer ushering this process all the way through. There we go. We'll confirm there. Occasionally I'll speed up the video just to make sure that we can get through this relatively quickly. Now it'll show us a recommended amount of ETH to deposit and we'll go ahead and accept that recommended amount and we'll confirm. Just going down the checklist on the left one by one, you'll see those going to a green check. A little bit faster video there. There we go. And now we get to specify the amount of GRT as well as the Arbitrum Gurley beneficiary. Now it is imperative that we get the address in here correct. It automatically populates with the wallet that we've logged in on. This is going to be an Arbitrum address. So it can be EOA or a multi-sig. Just make sure that we have control over that address, over that account, because if we do not, we're going to be transferring the GRT to an address we do not control. And that would be bad because we'll lose all of our funds. So just make sure you input whatever address in there correctly, 100% correctly, be it an EOA or a multi-sig, and just make sure it is on Arbitrum. Okay. So now that we've gone over that, let's go ahead and Specify the amount we want to transfer. We'll do the max amount. And now we're going to initialize the contract. Okay, we'll confirm. Okay, there it is. So this is that 20 minute timer. 
make sure you stick around, get a coffee, get a tea. Just go ahead and usher this all the way through. If you cannot stick around, you have seven days to make sure this process goes all the way through. If you do not complete this process within seven days, you will lose your funds. So it's just best if you just stick around, make sure it goes all the way through, just like so. Boom, there we go. The contract initialized successfully. So let's continue on with this process. You can go ahead and view the profile on Arbitrum Gurley if you would like. However, what I'm gonna do is simply just copy that address that's being showed right there. And we're gonna take a look at the transfers that have gone on on Arbitrum Gurley. And you can see that we are all confirmed and ready to go. So thank you so much for joining me on this journey of transferring your GRT using a partially vested vesting contract. If you have any questions or concerns with this process, go ahead and check the link in the description below where we will be able to reach out to some of the devs working on these toolings and uh, you can get the support that you need if uh, anything should be coming up. So thank you for your time and take care. Bye-bye.